what makes Manmohan Desai special? What makes Manmohan Desai special? I can answer this question in my own context, really. And he's special to me because of various reasons. I have uh, special regard for him because he makes things so much easier for me. I don't have to worry about the script. I don't have to worry about the story, about what I'm doing, how I'm supposed to do it, what I have to wear, um, how he wants me to perform. It's all very meticulously planned beforehand. Months before he actually comes in front of the camera. He has worked on his character, on his story, on his script. And uh, that makes it so much easier for me as, a, as an artist. And there's so much belief in what he wants to project, wants to portray. Um, in front of the cameras or what he wants his artists to portray in front of the camera that it it just simplifies my work so for me he's he's so easy to get along with because he's worked everything out there's a deep sense of um, of passion in his work he passionately believes in what he conceives and um, to a lot of people who don't know him, who perhaps don't know his cinema, sometimes uh, uh, think him to be a little silly, perhaps, at moments, at times. But he has always proved them wrong. Because Manmohan Desai, as a person, as a human being, I think caters to the common man, the average man in our society. Um, the needs, the wants, the frustrations, the desires, um, the expectations of this common man comes through in his stories in a glorified, well-presented manner. The man himself lives in Khetwari. And if you know Khetwari, it's, it's where the average man, the common man of the city comes from. And he still continues to live there. Despite his success, his tremendous success, he still continues to live there. I think it speaks volumes for the man because he doesn't want to cut himself away from, from his upbringing, from where he grew up, from where he genuinely believes. And if you've seen his place, you know, you can... Khetwari is a place where you can virtually stretch your hand out and touch your neighbor. And I think metaphorically that's, that speaks volume on what he conceives in his film. He's... Uh, he's like a child. He's well into his fifties, I think. But if you observe him carefully, you will find that there is a child lying dormant inside him still. He has that childlike curiosity, the, the eagerness of a child, the, the impatience of a child. And all of that comes through in his films. You never find a moment to even breathe when you see his films. Things happen so rapidly. It's, in many ways, that's a child's behavior. He keeps wanting to know more, learn more, do more things, all very quickly. And uh, I think that that childishness in him gets transferred onto film uh, so magnificently, the result is absolutely astounding. That's why I think that uh, Manmohan Desai is so special. As an actor, does he ever drive you around the bend? No, never. No? Because 
Um, you won't go round the bend if you if you're if you're willing to go round the bend. And I think with Manmohan Desai, you do want to go round the bend now and then because you're so absolutely sure of what he's doing. You're so absolutely sure that no matter how ridiculous he may sound when he's asking you to do something, in the end you know that it is going to be fruitful. And that's what matters really. Have you ever got lost your temper or, you know? No, never. Never? Never, ever. I mean, when you're asked to do something incredible, sometimes you say, you know, do you want to do it or can't we do something else? No. No? No. Where did you first meet him? I mean, what was your first impression about him? Um, I first met him uh, when I wasn't working in his film. He was shooting outside my house for another one of his films and I happened to walk out of my house to go and meet some other artists that were working there. And um, um, I was shooed off the set. I mean, he was so involved in his work that he, he couldn't be bothered with anyone that was going to disturb him. And uh, that was my first experience of him. He's very involved in what he does. He couldn't care a damn of what went on outside or who came or who went. Um, and this is in line with the passion that I spoke of. He's so passionately involved in his work, he, he couldn't care a damn what was happening where. That was my first meeting with him. Subsequently, of course, when we started working together, then I got to know him much better. How did he come to cast you? I was um, cast in a film called Parvarish. Um, he wasn't the producer because he hadn't started producing at that time. And um, almost simultaneously, um, he started his own company, MKD Films. And, uh, that was Amarak Paranthini, and he came across to me one evening while we were working for Parpesh and asked me if I would uh, work in his film. I think at that moment, the, my casting was more on the dictates of the producer of that film, more on the dictates of my commercial standing. I don't think that... Um, uh, Manmohan would have ideally liked to have worked with me in that, uh, at that point of time because I had been doing a lot of serious films, Anand and, uh, and such like films, but which were totally contrary to what Manmohan Desai was making. But I think during the making of Parvarish, um, uh, we did, uh, or perhaps he did, realize that he could cast me in a film like Amarak Paranthini. And that's how that came to be. And once Amarak Baranthani was made, um, he just uh, very kindly promised that, that if ever um, I were to stop working with him, that would be the condition, not that he not work with me. But there are stories like he felt you were, you know, not the chocolate hero, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, he saw you in Hera Fairy. Mm -hmm not necessarily to mention the film, but he saw your potential for comedy and then cast you. Mm -hmm. So, could you? I, I, uh, I haven't really heard of these stories where he may have been critical towards me, so I wouldn't like to comment on that, and I can't really. But um, surely every man has, uh, has his own right to be critical of any actor. Uh, whether he saw the rushes of Hera Peri and decided to give me a, a comedy role, I'm not very sure of. But the fact is that Amar Akbar Anthony was offered to me almost simultaneously while I started work with him. Was Anthony Gonzalez a turning point in your career? I think that it gave me a, a lot of opportunity to um, fool around, so to say really be free and uh, um, go overboard, which is Manmohan Desai's style. 
and uh, whatever the result was was obviously liked by Manmohan and, and eventually was obviously liked by a lot of people in this country and uh, for the first time perhaps the the audiences who were seeing me in rather more serious roles accepted me in a lighter vein. How did you do the drunken scene? How did that come about? You just did it uh, glibly, improvised? Or? Well, the whole concept was Manmohan's, of course. The idea and the scene was all his. And um, very surprisingly, he, he gave me total freedom total freedom to do whatever I wanted to in front of the mirror. Normally he's, he's so meticulous, you know, you, you can't even um, raise a finger out of place or out of tune. Um, unless you're able to give him a, a much, much better alternative, he will not agree to um, doing what he already has asked you to do. So I was very surprised that he did give me this freedom. In fact, um, he was not even present during the time of the shooting. He was very busy and I remember we were shooting at RK Studios. Uh, he was doing Dharampir and Parvarish and Amaratpur Anthony all, all together. And I think that uh, we were either shooting for another set of Parvarish uh, at RK Studios or, or Dharambir, I'm not quite sure. Or maybe it was Chacha Bhatija because they were all four made all at the same time. And he had to go and do a shot on the other set. And he asked me and told me what he wanted and then just, and just left. Uh, I'm very grateful that he, 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 um, he expressed so much confidence that I could perhaps do this scene without him being there. But I think that uh, the result was fairly good. Do you ever mimic him in your performance? No, like, no, behave no. like him? No, I don't. Or speak like him? No, I don't. The Only language? Only perhaps during uh, the portrayal of Anthony. Because that was so much him. How so? The energy? The energy, the, the, the language that was used, which was totally alien to uh, my own upbringing and my, uh, and my basics. It was, it was so much Bombay, uh, the language. And he was so confident. And he was, uh, he used to tell me during the making of the film, when this film is released, people are not going to call you Amitabh, they're going to call you Anthony Bai. And he was so right. Okay, what's your favorite film of his? They're all favorites. Yeah, okay. And that's not a diplomatic question or answer. But, um, Really, there's, there's been so much joy and happiness doing his films and uh, I still continue to have that, uh, that, uh, that happiness whenever he asks me to work with him. That it's very difficult to pick one particular film out or pick one pic particular moment out from a film. I mean, what's the first scene you think of instinctively? Well, if you would really push me to say something about a particular scene. I think that the mirror scene in Amarapur Anthony would certainly qualify for one of them. And I think uh, dramatically um, the, the, the last sequence of Kuli at, uh, at the Darga at Haji Ali uh, would be, uh, would uh, rate amongst uh, some of my favorites. Okay, sorry for one more. You know, he's very happy and he's always bubbly. But do you think there's a s other side we don't know of his? I mean, can he be ever sad or, you know, reflective? Is he lonely? I don't really know whether I'm qualified to answer this question. But... Talking about human beings, I think, in general, I think all of us, have a, a certain section uh, tucked away inside our system which we like to keep purely for ourselves. And I'm sure that Manmohan has, uh, has that as well. Um, I won't say that I've never caught him in moments 
when he's been reflective or been to himself, yes, there have been moments and I wouldn't like to discuss that. So I wouldn't entirely agree with you that, uh, that um, he's all bubbly and that he's trying to put on a facade and trying to hide something or anything like that. I think that basically that's the way he wants to look at life and I think that's an extremely healthy attitude. I would most certainly were I to be in a, in, in a depressed state of mind or frustrated or just very despondent, I would drive down to Ketwari and be with Manmohan. Okay, thanks.